Akram and I just started a new project with the uh, U.S. State Department uh, scanning vehicles and what we do with those is make computer models out of them and then we'll run these computer models to see how we think it's going to behave in a real crash test. These test installations are not cheap. Um, you're looking at tens of thousands of dollars and a crash test is about fifty thousand dollars. So to run a crash test and have something fail it's an expensive venture and with these models it substantially reduced the risk. With simulation and a valid model uh, you'll be able to optimize the device, find the red flags where do I kind of uh, not use material, where do I use material, where I need reinforcement and bolting is enough, it's not enough and then say okay this sounds to be that's the right way to do, that's not the right way to do it. The first uh, model is typically the cost of a full-scale crash test but beyond that you're talking a couple thousand dollars. So when you get into that price range you can make many changes and see how the barrier performs before you go to the real full-scale crash test. The beauty of simulation you get measurement anywhere you want because you don't have really an instrument you just have a point and pick your point and, and follow that and then you can put your camera virtual camera anywhere you want and you cut the vehicle while it's moving and you can see what's going on and then hide the door hide the fender you know hide the engine I'll just see what the frame is doing during this impact. We can take a barrier, physical security barrier, we could take a highway safety uh, hardware device and we could get that as a working product quicker than running multiple crash tests, changing little things at a time. For example, for soil, uh, posts underneath the soil, what they are how, how they are interacting with the soil. So you can see you're, you're, you're pushing the soil underneath and, and building the soil behind it. So all of these are nice, sometimes you just you cannot watch them, period, with, with a physical camera. Certainly nothing is as reliable as the real thing, but uh, what it does is it gets us incrementally closer to uh, where we need to be for the crash test to be successful. But the beauty of Riverside in our division is that we have the testing as well as the simulation part being done in, in the same spot, so you have people communicating with each other and how, how the best way to do it.